Welcome in everybody, I'm Liz and welcome back to Liz Game! Today we are starting a game that I haven't played in five years. Life is Strange. It's a great game. I first saw it when I was chilling on the couch of my best friend and he was playing it and I was just there and enjoying the ride. I think I've been watching for like three hours or so. He sometimes let me decide the dialogue option, so yeah, it was a great time. I love the music as you can hear already, it's like... Chef's kiss is so good. If you guys don't know Life is Strange yet, what are you doing with your lives? No, seriously, let me just quickly read you the description of the game. Play as Max Caulfield, a photography senior who discovers she can rewind time while saving her best friend Chloe Price from a violent altercation. The pair soon find themselves investigating the mysterious disappearance of fellow student Rachel Amber, uncovering a dark side of life in Arcadia Bay. Meanwhile, Max must quickly learn that changing the past can sometimes lead to a devastating future. Nice. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? All right, let's go. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I love decision-based games. Honestly, they're so cool. Oh dear. Oh dear. Before we go to the lighthouse, maybe we can turn around and see if there's anything else we could do. Um, can I run? Can I sprint? Can I do anything? Other than walk lighthouse, okay. So this is not the remastered Come version. On, Max. You can make it. There's a remastered version of this game. Um, but I still have the original one. Do you guys have you guys played the remastered? And if yes, do you like it? Holy moly. That's one hell of a tornado, isn't it? Blackwell Academy. Shit, that weather is wild. Holy shit. Lightning and all, dang. Whoa, that was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. What a dream. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now. Can you wow. give me an example Rude. of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Bueller. Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, Language, though, sir. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Hang on a second, guys. I'm sorry for interrupting him in the middle, but uh, I think the audio is way too loud. Maybe like this, and the sound effects are quite loud as well, and then maybe the voice is just a tad down as well. We'll see. I might adjust it more. <laughs> and any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? 
Oh, what if looks, Arbus chose start. to capture people with the- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can I'll... hear the class laughing at me now. Why? I love that. That looks cool. I like the depth of it. First of all, I love these lights. They're so pretty. And I like how the focus is on the picture and she's- She's in the center and in the front, actually, but she's blurred out. I like that. It's cool. Height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant I can't eye. believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. No! But I like it old school. I'm not a big fan of her work. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I was just to say, like, dang, this is a lot to read. Maybe I should catch up reading first. July 10th, 20, 2013. Oh my god. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy! If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy! I didn't think I would be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. What? I thought I was going to say sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance, and when I saw the first word congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried, and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and I can work... And, I, and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy! <laughs> She's so cute and excited. Oops. Oh, dang. Where was it? Uh, journal, journal, journal. Where am I? Oh, no. I clicked something. Crap. Oh, shit. What, how do I get back? Oh, no. I wanted to continue reading! Prologue. Oh, there you go. Oopsie poopins. Okay. Um, how do I... There. August 18th, 2013. I'm like so used to say 2020, so like 2013 doesn't roll that easily off the tongue anymore. Uh, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe, Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we could, would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. <laughs> nice. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire. Now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to, sh to ship out. Oh dear, I love this one. This is so cute. Look at this. Oh dear. <laughs> Absolutely adore it. Okay. Um... So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. August 25th. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught my mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry a little, like a little girl, and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool changes, chances, sorry, chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 2nd. 
My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never wanted to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I, I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. This day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped and st to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel... Instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, alone with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. <laughs> I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. <sighs> Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me, I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with his teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects expects us to do as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snub minions still front like their honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone, with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The press cards give a shitload of bang to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he's lit he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more! September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take a pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday's Hero, uh, Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. <laughs> At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. <sighs> Sigh. September 30th. I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. 
Too bad I can't clone him to make my place in <laughs> to take my place in class. Mrs. Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class. But I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? October 1st. October, my favorite month. I really like fall as well. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so punny, Max. <laughs> At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Right, we did that. Max Jefferson, there's Kate and there's Victoria. Okay. Ooh, Ooh should we read those? Ooh, Warren. Have a very special 18th birthday, the 21st of September. Ooh, you're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Ooh. Uh, wait, can I not go further? Oh, I can. Hi, hey, Max, you're around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Oh, absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Mom, happy birthday, Maxine! We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. XO. Mwah. Warren, make sure you check... Oh, wait, no, sorry. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse to not study. Please make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. <laughs> hey, Matt Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure it ve its velocity. <laughs> oh man, you're such a geek, I love it. Don't ignore this message. Well, he, she's he, she's been ignoring lots of messages. Wait, is it all the same day? No. The 2nd of October, the 3rd of October, 5th, 5th, 5th. Okay, so it's just been three days, but lots of messages. Okay, interested much? Hmm. Me too, Victoria. All right, camera. He captured the essence of post I do love people. my analog camera. And there was honesty about I should take a quick picture now. During class, but everybody's gonna notice, struggle. but okay. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. Uh-oh. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Bless you. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh huh. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? I didn't know, oh god. Okay, you, you, you're you asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Oof. Is there anybody Pressure. here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, bitch. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, Oof. making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Daguerreotype mm. self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. online. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. 
It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. He knows us very well, it seems. <sighs> All right, now we can snoop around. <laughs> Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Mm, yeah. And people laughed. I mean, 18, 15 is not that big of a difference, but this was more like, I don't know, 11 years old or so. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Mm -hmm. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. $5,299. Damn, son. Damn. All right, she really has to show off, right? Foot equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yes, you are. But that's fine. Everybody has a passion, right? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Looks like a pretty ordinary picture to me, to be honest, but okay. <laughs> that printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Well, he did say she has a gift, so I don't know. He's the expert. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Yeah, okay. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Okay. Hey, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. So there's always a looking and then there's like interacting or like reading, speak, something like this. Hi, Kate. Hi. Oh. Hi, Max. I hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. I hope I didn't embarrass you. Did I say anything to embarrass her? You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Oh boy, I know that. Victoria's already won. Want to go grab a cup of tea? Well, they mentioned in the in the journal they mentioned grab, grabbing a cup of tea, so... I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? <laughs> Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Hmm. I hope she really is a good friend. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOXO Blackwell Academy. Okay. Juicy details. Etched marks. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Then let's take one. What does it actually say? Oh, journal. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You have, per episode, you have uh, an amount of, like, it's like collectibles. You have to find the, the picture scenarios and then you can miss those. So, Rachel Amber, love forever. Okay. So let's see, what else can we do? Oh, God. She's so flirting with him. Gosh, you're 18, kids. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. <laughs> I always loved when you wa when we watched uh, documentaries in school. I want to explore everything. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. It does look very pretty. I love forests and the beach, both. You can never escape the lighthouse here. That's the same lighthouse that we saw in our vision, right? Or dream or whatever it was. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig oh, my boy. little instant camera. Yeah, it has a very unique style, doesn't it? 
So this is probably leaving. Oh, there's more stuff. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. <laughs> has has the voice actress from Max ever spoken anywhere else? Like in any other game? I don't I don't think. I know that um Chloe's voice actress is This somewhere else. is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Mm -mm. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. Nerd. What? Nerd alert. So I know that um the voice actress for Chloe that has been mentioned already um that she's in quite a few games but I don't think I have ever heard, heard I don't think I've ever heard Max's voice actress anywhere else so cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures gives me hope Mark Jefferson's noir beauty film versus digital who will win I like the art style in this game it's very unique so with games like these usually you have to um interact and look at everything because that will unlock certain dialogue options so that's why i'll i will be running around talking um inspecting a lot of things so it will be a very thorough playthrough okay mr jefferson let's look at you this is ridiculous i always get so shy and nervous around mr jefferson Fangirl moment much? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Hmm, maybe she is. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. Oh, no, God. Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I didn't have any time. Do I? Do I, uh, I mean... I didn't have time. She said she was procrastinating, so that would be just straight up a lie. So let's say, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? <laughs> but you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. <sighs> okay. Well, if you say so. Have a looked at this? Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Hmm. <laughs> Well, are you ever ready? Do you, you ever didn't know? You tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real cute. world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Then I might send you a special picture? Hang on a second, what's going on here? She plays it so I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. Square Enix. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant pen. Don't not entertainment. Oh, the music in this game. So good. Don't text and drive. Life is strange. Episode one, Chrysalis. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Blood, give it up. Blackwell Academy to needs fresh blood. Blackwell Academy needs fresh blood. Imagine a world without you. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Missing from Acadia Bay. Date missing. April 22nd. That's a long time already. Age 19 years old. Five foot five. Car by the seaside. Okay. Watching the Respect classroom, be nice, do your work, side. listen to speaker. Science room. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. <laughs> I'm happy she made a friend already. 
Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Hmm. Maybe she's just really good friends with one person or so, and that is not that person is not in school. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Bully free. That's Dana talking to. I think his name is Justin. Well, I was looking at him actually, but okay. I like her jeans. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. Uh huh. They must make them in a factory. <laughs> Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Black World to mess around. Yeah, I think we'll also focus lots of, uh, a lot on school. God, the music is so loud. Hang on a second. I love the music, but it's so loud. I can't hear myself think. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I like her style. That's cool. Are you okay? Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Could you stop harassing that boy? Excuse me? I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I always step between stuff like this. Or I would at least, like if I would be too scared of the people, then I would maybe go for a teacher or some, somebody who could help. It looks like she's been gone for months. I mean, yeah, it's October, right? So April 22nd. That is a long time. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god, imagine you lose your laptop. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Save Arcadia Bay over the past decade, climate change has ordered the, altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and fauna. Ay ay ay, weather change. And now it's 10 years later, right? You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Oh man. It's gonna be um, Spooktober soon, and on Twitch I'm gonna upload my Halloween themed emotes for the entirety of October again. I love that season. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. <laughs> yeah, maybe. American More of it. I wonder what actually happened to her. I'm pretty. So many posters. Holy Good moly. thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> <laughs> Just casually Watch dropping that she has an AK-47. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. He's the principal. They never come out of their office much, do they? Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. Miss <sighs> Grant is a great science teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Matt. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Well, the layout of the school seems like an important thing. Go to the main campus, aha. Uh -huh. But I can't go there now. I need to do other things. There's the lighthouse again. It's everywhere. Who are you? Trevor. Hello, Trevor. He's cute. I like skater boys. Beer. I love that. Like it's like a bear and a deer at once. Like together, so it's beer. <laughs> I love that. Oh, dear and beer. Hayden. Hello, Hayden. There's Hayden another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Oh, a nice one, okay. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. <laughs> another one of those posters. I think I don't have to look at it a fifth time or sixth time now. There's the bathroom, I think that was my objective. Can I talk to the two lovebirds, Romeo and Juliet? There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. 
And Zachary? Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. Samuel. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Can I look at the trophies? Ooh. Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Go otters. I like otters too, yeah. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. It's what they do, yeah. Big stomps. Alright, I think we're ready. Chess, wait. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. <laughs> My dad used to play uh, chess and I would watch him. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. And me. <sighs> Rachel Amber is a bitch. Oh my god. Now who would bother to write that crap? Yeah, what is this, Twitter? <laughs> Mirror. Wait. Another poster. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> Um, I want to look around. Tampon disposer. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> Vortex clubs. Vortex club are jerks. Can you swim to success? This poster must drive people to have sex. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. You can still love and learn without sex. Time is on your side, so is common sense. Use it. Kate works for God. Oh, God. Oh, man. I hated kids back in the day when I was going to school. I hate Victoria Chase. Oh, okay. Did you write that, Max? Fire bill. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. <laughs> so, do we not need to go to the bathroom, like, for reals? No? Okay, so... Use the mirror? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Can we take a picture out of that? That would be funny, right? Like a selfie, but with that? <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh well. Let's use the thing. Games like these, I always try to do what I need to do at last so I can explore everything else first. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. No! I like that picture! God dang it, Max. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. <laughs> Close. Close enough. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. All right. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? The window. It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Uh, sir, wrong, wrong bathroom. I think this is for the ladies. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, oh, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing whoa, around whoa, whoa, whoa. with. Did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. 
I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Holy... Whoa. What the fuck? How? Again? How can that be? Back in class? in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Oh, crap. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color now now the phone vibrates. Hassled again. Okay, no, but now the phone vibrates. And just Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you oh, give me no. an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Not the human camera. condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Can I fix my camera? I did it. <gasps> I actually did it. Oh, perfectly oh captured man. The human time machine. Cool. Anybody? Bueller. Bueller. Max, <laughs> don't freak out. Take a selfie. Let's go. Victoria. Why Arvis? When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. So cool. And Max has a, has gift. a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that Sorry. girl isn't I dead yet? Resist. I resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I feel sick. I have to use the bathroom. Uh, uh, I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. <laughs> but you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Can I already rewind? Yeah, no. totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Come on, show her. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind? rewind. And give him the right answer. How far do I have to rewind? Uh, Max, since oh, you've captured our interest speed and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean oh, process how dare you made know portraiture things. hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Okay, let's go and see if I can maybe uh, get there as fast as possible. I see you, Max Caulfield. Oh, crap. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, not sure if I have one. Not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. 
John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. <laughs> Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Press LB to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Maybe, okay. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. You no, excuse Victoria. us. <laughs> excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. <laughs> Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Thanks. Oh man, you can exploit this so easily in school, right? Just like you don't know the answer, you just wait and then rewind. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Oh, no, no, no. Move faster. Oh yeah, now I can jog. Okay, cool. Sorry, coming through. I need to use the bathroom. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I gotta go fast. <laughs> That doesn't look weird at okay, all. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Oof. Then the butterfly flew in. I don't know if that was necessary. And I took a photo. To shred the photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? Maybe the fire alarm? What are you alarm? doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to I do. need a hammer to break so it open. Sick. Oh God, here. To control me. You are going to get in hella more There's a hammer? for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to... Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Hammer. Ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of being... No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Yeah, get your filthy hands away from her. Another shitty day. It's quite the... That did not happen. This cannot be real. Isn't this bit I just saw a girl get shot and then Sorry. saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Vuza. Isn't this a bit of a wrong design if you need a hammer to break this first so you can let everybody know that there's fire going on? Okay, butterfly, see you later. I gotta run. Oh, sorry. That was the wrong button <laughs> for sprinting. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? Yes, sir. That means you should be outside. I had right. to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Wow. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. For peeing? Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. Wow. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Mr. Madsen. Leave Ms. Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> the face. Uh, all right. Can I hurry out of here? Should I talk to you? Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does you look a little oh, stressed oops, out? I thought she's done. Are you okay? I'm. I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Wow, towering over his report, Nathan, hide the truth. I mean... Well, the rewind feature I didn't use again, so that is not necessary for my story. I did see Nathan in the bathroom with a girl threatening her and he dropped a gun, so... Maybe that's a good idea to report that? I think it's a responsible thing to do, so report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, 
He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. This Should icon I means your and change my story? This icon means your action will Oh no! You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this area. No, I think I'm happy with what I did. I was honest and if this would be a real life scenario right now, I wouldn't want like some kid running around with a gun in school. So I think I'm 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 okay with my decision. I think this is the right thing to do. Blackwell Academy. Oh man, I love fall. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. More missing poster, missing person posters. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Uh, missing person. How many? Jesus. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. Mm-hmm. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I want to look around a lot. Hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Hello? Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'm meet you. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool, you see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Aww, it's a little squirrel. What's with my journal? Oh, wow. She wrote down a lot of things now. Okay, so this is the last one that we read. This does not exist. October 7th. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird I don't know how or where to start. But I start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face. And I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Jefferson's class, and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest while Victoria did her usual suck-up to Jefferson. He's so cool, and he clearly wants me to succeed. I felt so shitty. I just wanted to get to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful butter blue butterfly flutter in, and right when I took a photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in, freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner, and this punk girl came in, and they started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. I mean, not that that before was strange or anything. <laughs> when Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason, as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly, I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the day... I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major Groundhog Deja Vu. 
Somehow I was able to actually rewind time. I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and I couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom and before Nathan could shoot her, I smashed open the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory! Until I got grilled by the security chief, David Matson, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger. <laughs> Nathan Prescott almost killed a girl in the bathroom, but no, I am the problem. I was so glad when Principal Weld stepped in to shoo David away. Then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities, for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in the previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream, then ended with a saving, saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. Not all those who wander are lost. Okay, that's a lot to read. I don't think I'm gonna... I'm gonna read all the character stuff as well, because I'm I wanna I wanna like talk to them when I when I encounter them, and not know everything about them already. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Sharks eating the otters. Cigarette butts. Ew, gross. At least switch to e-cigs. Oh man, I know it's a private decision, but like I struggle with like cigarette smoke always finding its way into my house. People are smoking outside of the house and it always finds its way into my house. And you know, it just it's summer. You have to have the windows open because otherwise you're literally melting. And it's just the worst. Oh, the smell. It makes me nauseous and I get a headache and... Oh, man. Not a fan. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Blackwell Academy. Tw 2012 swim team. Otter power. Otter power? I'm so not there. <laughs> and this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Sorry guys, I'm so thirsty. Uh, swimming pool! This is where we do the swimming magic. A leaflet. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Too much information be here now. Bully much? No bully thinks they're a bully, so think about that before you bully. If you think you've become a bully, please go to www.bullyforyou.org. We all stand up for you. Bible study. Looking to join fellow Christians to read and discuss. Thanks and God bless. Kate. Aw, bless her. This is where we go to the parking. Now I have parking. to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. All right, let's talk to everybody first. Tree. Sit. All right. <laughs> Don't want to miss anything. So bizarre to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. Oh, I think she's done. Okay, let's get up. It's cool, so it's just a little... A few, uh, few seconds of uh, her having some time to think. I remember that I loved this game so much that uh, I even had her hair cut for some time. Like just the, the bop with the, with the bon bangs. Cool bike. Well, hi, Justin. Can I talk to you? 
I don't think I can, actually. Nope. Oh, wow, rude. But there's the pop- Ah, there you go. You have to really be in his face to be able to look and talk at to there's him. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. So cute. Oh, she has a really- She really has a thing for the, um, the skater boys, huh? Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? 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 You mean stage diving or... You're such a poser. <laughs> if you can't even name a simple no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Aww. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Came to no slide. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. <laughs> nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? A no slide or a tree flip? I have no idea what a tree flip is, so let's go. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Let's go, Trevor. Oh, ah. oh, he hit himself in the balls. Oh no, poor guy. Can I help you, sir? Oh, I can take a photo of that. That's so wrong. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. Oh, God, I feel bad. I wonder if I would rewind now. Can I see the no slide as well? Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash? Came to no slide. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Can I nah. skip this? Oh, now I want to see the no slide. I want to see if he still, like, hits his crown jewels. I'd love to see a no slide. <laughs> Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> he doesn't fail that. So you have to do the tray flip thing to actually succeed I don't want with to a that picture. Way. That is... That is wild. Okay, you cannot just leave the place. Is that a drone? I could go for a burger now. <gasps> I have a burger plushie that I just got. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, what does it say? Hungry, the two whales diner, Oregon's best burger. Mm. On a quest for magic and adventure, roll the 20 sided dice. This is so funny because I'm currently playing Baldur's Gate 3 on stream. And tomorrow's gonna be the finale. Woo! I hope the dice will be with me when I play. So there's some DD players in here. Hi, Daniel. Hey, wait, this is the kid that has been bullied, right? Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. I like introverts. I'm one myself. Slightly biased. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored. I'd rather not. I'd be honored. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Wow. You know how to make a girl feel special, boy. <laughs> what happened to her? You knew her? Hard to avoid her posters. Start drawing. Start drawing! <laughs> you knew her? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. What happened to her? So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people say she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Me too. Hard to avoid her pos posters? Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's a good posture. Poor Warren is on the parking lot just waiting good. and I'm like here. Good. 
chilling next to trees, being drawn by some guy, making skaters hurt themselves. <laughs> Best That's portrait cute. ever. That's cute. He got the freckles as well. I love freckles. Thanks, Daniel. This action will have consequences. Oh boy. People will die. Somebody made a portrait of me. Hey lady, who are you? What I always hate, so I'm, I'm coming from the Baltic Sea, right? So I, I'm used to chilling in the sand. What I never liked about sweet water, like lakes and, and rivers and stuff, swimming in that, and um, then chilling on the grass, is that there's so much more bugs. There's hardly any bugs on the, on the sand, but on grass, a million. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. I think so. Not sure yet. I think so. Not sure yet. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Did she just say she would, like, hit on him? Now that you mention it, Victoria? No way. Victoria? Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal. But she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Who was that source? You knew Rachel? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Oof. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Are we done? I'd like to study this photo if you don't mind. Okay, talk to the Leo print check. I understand. <laughs> Exhibition panel. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Oh, that's a photo from, from him? Okay, I see. Well, hey, Miss Grant. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. What petition? Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Let's hear a girl. Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. <laughs> What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Dorm rooms. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy, David Madsen. It could have helped Rachel. <sighs> Maybe, but dorm rooms is a bit too much. What's next, bathrooms? That's crazy, David Madsen. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. Oh, sorry. This is about protecting ask a question. civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy Ugh. has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace. I'm sorry. Not fear and violence. <laughs> the Native Americans, Blackwell's that old, you know a lot, Native Americans? The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures Welcome. found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? <laughs> or will. Nice. Sign. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. <gasps> Should you tell students that you have a favorite? This action will have consequences. Uh-oh. Oh, well. That's life. I say that's life. That's what all the people say. Is Evan the guy with the cool photos? Hi, Evan. I like his haircut. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. His name is definitely Evan because the the tag in front of his face says so. <laughs> hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. <gasps> You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Steve McCurry, Robert Kappa, Eugene Smith, Robert Doisneau. 
I have no idea. Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. That was here a lucky a guess. spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. I literally asked for it first, so... Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Well then, let's go. Poor, poor Warren. These photos are great. Rachel. And Rachel. Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Rachel, Rachel, Abstract Landscapes, 2011. That's it? Okay. Great stuff, Evan. Can I speak to you again? Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. Oh, God. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Yeah, I mean, if somebody just disappears without a trace for months. Dorms. Oh, am I done here, though? I just want to quickly check if I didn't miss anybody. There's a photo on the statue. Oh, look. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. <gasps> I can take a photo. Ha! Nice. Actually, I need to check out... Okay, so we have the etchings in the table. We have the poor skater boy hitting his crown jewels. We have the statue. There is a squirrel in a coda soda can. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a mirror? And a teddy bear in a bed? Then we have... Like a collage, something broken in a football, a trailer, a bird in, I don't know, the woods or in a tombstone or something. And then it looks like a sunset by the ocean or something like that. Okay, let's go. Or oh, am I done for reels? Have I checked out everything there? I think I haven't talked to these kids. Hayden. Hi, Hayden. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. I don't want to be rude, but man, I hated the white jeans and black leather high boots face. Oh, God, horrible. Glad that part is over. <laughs> hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. So humble. Not to boast. No, absolutely not. Vortex Club, Nathan Prescott, let's talk about the Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. Excuse me. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. I don't gossip. Hang with the Vortex Club? You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. <laughs> Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? Everybody, apparently. I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Oh, dear. Uh, what happened to her? What do you think? What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. I guess. Did Victoria like her? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. I don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. How do you know then that she respected her? <laughs> Rachel was in the Vortex Club. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? 
No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. There's three witnesses. Nathan Prescott? Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems unstable. Fair enough. I don't know. I don't want to start a fight, so let's just be fair enough. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. <laughs> let's oh, talk bro. later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Okay. Just casually jogging around here. So, Brooke. Hey, Brooke, I love your style. As you can tell, I also love me some good hoodie, which is my own merch, by the way. <laughs> Brooke actually has a drone. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? No. Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. Mm -hmm. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay, we have to, we have to rewind. We have to rewind this conversation and like prove her wrong. I'm, I'm smart enough, all right? I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy though. Don't mind me what just- What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. High Fly Evil B400. Okay, let's rewind that I looked into her bag. So there's nobody who, who can prove it. Let's talk to her again. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. That's a high fly drone. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. He said I'm Here. smart. Give the drone a whirl around campus. <gasps> can I, can I, can I, can I? Oh man. I think, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's automatic. I cannot, I cannot fly myself. That would be too cool, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, all the way up and now. <laughs> Don't crash it. He's gonna be so mad if you break it. Oh, don't break it, Max. Don't break it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, de Wow. That is a risky maneuver right there. Under the- under the bench! Under the bench! Hello, skater boys. <laughs> it's a nice area, right? Nice... right next to the beach. Do miss the ocean. How long is this trip? I don't want to miss anything in the end. Go Bigfoots. Dormitories. Oh man, poor Warren. It's just like waiting forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, I think it's looped now. Thanks, Brooke. That was nice. I think now we can really go. Fountain. Sit again? Contemplate again. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. Yeah. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Okay, it's looped. I always want to, like, have her have enough time to finish her thoughts. 
before I jump up and run to the next location. So I think the worms were over there, so let's go. Dormitories. Same post. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, football. That was a picture that I need to take with a football, right? If I remember correctly. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yuck. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. <laughs> Athletic field, main building, dormitories. I mean, I suppose it's cool to have like, it's, it's not really like living all by yourself, but it's also not really like living at home anymore, right? Cycle bin. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. <laughs> Hi, Alyssa. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Okay, let's talk to her. Oh. Hi, Max. Yeah. Hi. How are you? What are you reading? How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay. Hey, Logan Robertson. All-American asshole. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Okay. <laughs> Can I... Take a picture of the totem? Warren told me that totem is named Tobango for a reason nobody knows. Didn't... Didn't she never notice this before? She was like, Native Americans? And then, nice, yeah, bro. look at the totem there. That, that would have been a hint, right? Zachary? Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. <laughs> football, Max. Big football. Step away. Okay, okay. Another recycle bin. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Okay. Hi, okay, Kate. How about some tea now? Wait a minute. <gasps> awesome. Look this first. is going to be too damn cute. At least it's not a cat picture. Photo. I'll try to get as many of these pictures that I can take as possible, but... That's the football one. Oh, man. Make art, not war. That's a good idea. Hi, Kate. There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hmm. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Well, she looks quite happy now. You look down. How's class? You look down. Like, are you gonna talk or are you just gonna stand there? You, you look down. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. That's fine. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, Samuel. Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. He's not creepy, just X-Files weird. <laughs> Howdy, okay. Samuel. Well, hello there. Okay. Well, he does seem a bit creepy, doesn't he? What's with these posters? Awesome. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It okay. just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What happened? You knew Rachel? What was she like? See you later. What happened? What do you think? What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. That's probably the... A good mindset and a good attitude towards life. You knew Rachel? You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. What was she like? What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Awesome. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. 
And watch your step around here, Max. Nice. After I sweep, I paint. Okay. That's a bit odd, sir, but this is so okay. This is fine. After I sweep, I paint. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, God. I had a crew in my school just like this. Oh, God. And they were the biggest bullies, and I just... Oh, God, I hated it. They were constantly, like, gossiping, and they would always, like, look at you and then giggle, and when you looked at them back, they were like, hee hee hee, and, like, roll their eyes. And, oh, so weird. Oh, God. So cringe. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Wow. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, yeah. Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so funny. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I have to say the line, go fuck your selfie, is pretty original. <laughs> Do you cool. understand English? No. Get lost. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Can I rewind before talking None to them? None shall pass. Capiche? Okay, good. Ooh, maybe we could. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. How do I do that? Sorry, Samuel. Maybe, ooh. <laughs> Maybe I can do something in here. He probably has access to all the things. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I how can't do you even wash chill it? on the steps. Did this work? Oh, what? No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Oh my god. I don't know what I did. I accidentally hit a button and now I have to do it again. Okay, we skip this. Skip, skip. I wanted to run. I don't know how I didn't... Hmm. Sorry. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. How dare she? Maybe I can drop something from there? How do I get up there? What am I gonna do? Oh. Oh. <gasps> Maybe. Maybe I can, like, sabotage something. Just... Here, the bucket, maybe? Tamper. Oh, Ooh, that's savage. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm just gonna be here in the sunlight, in the distance, and I'm just gonna have a nice view. Look at this beautiful school. Look at the sunlight. Gorgeous. Look at these biatches. There's Samuel walking all funny. Alrighty. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Come on, Samuel. Hurry it up a little bit, please. Can I fast forward time as well? Or can I just rewind? Fast forward would be so practical right now. No. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? 
<gasps> oh, I need to temper with the bucket and I need to do the sprinkler stuff, right? So he takes forever to climb up the ladder, so maybe... Did I already temper with it? It's already tempered with. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and do the sprinkler yeah. bit real quick. Use. What the hell? Are you kidding? <laughs> Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You oh, look God. great. I can't even chill on the steps. Now he's climbing up there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Awesome. No way! No fucking you okay, way! okay, Victoria? Oh, it's just pain. I'm sorry. Wet, wet pain is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. No. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> oh man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Aww. Well. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Make fun of? Comfort? I mean, this would be a great time, a great opportunity to like pay her back and make her feel how it feels to be in that position. But I think it's better to be the bigger person, so. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was, but there'll be another. Okay. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Nice, Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Dude. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Awesome. Well, she can be nice. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Yeah. Wow, language chick. Max, just move it. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and, and the go fuck your selfie. It was a good line. That was mean, but pretty funny. <laughs> Just one of those days, you know? Yeah. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Oh, she did move willingly. We did it. Gay Dexus to the girl's explained. room. Oh, well, sorry. I know we're not, we're not gonna rewind that part. Sorry for drinking so much, guys, but I'm I'm so thirsty today. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, what's this? Go, Miss Grant. Not sure if I will, though. I'm a loser. HIV and AIDS are not initials on a poster. Reward. Stole my. To the bitch that stole my friend, your new face creme. Oh boy. Victoria is going to be pissed. We took so long. Well, Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. I mean, it is a campus after all. Welcome to Black Hill. <laughs> Black Hill. Max Caulfield, 219. Victoria, right on the opposite grade. Brooke, Kate Marsh, Dana, Julia, Taylor, and Stella Hill. Stella Hill, Taylor, Christians, and Juliet Watson, Dana Ward, Kate Marsh. Max Call, Victoria Chase, and Brooke Scott. Interesting names. Red Room. Room 217. No way in hell am I ever going in here. Welcome to Black Stella. Hill. Okay, just checking. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Don't be afraid to be ready. Young Guns Training. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. Stomping Bigfoots. Missing person, but again. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere, indeed. 
No boys allowed. As if. Mm-hmm. I bet they snuck in in the night. Taylor is a slave. Wow. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. I like her voice. It's so husky. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. It's very pretty, yeah. I like it. Would you guys like me to play the other Life is Strange games as well? I have them all. Like, literally all of them. I have the first one, Before the Storm. Um, I have the second one, True Colors. And the Adventures of Captain Spirit. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. And I also have Tell Me Why, I think it's called, which I think is from the same developers and very similar gameplay-wise. At least that's an alarm from this century. Be alert on campus. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the Geek only girl lonely nerd around clip. here. For sale. The spike will lead you anywhere. $20 delivery for $5 more. Contact her. Thanks for the warning. The Vortex Club coming in soon. <laughs> Showers open. Caution. Wet floor. In the showers? No way. Wet floor in the showers, guys. Did you know that? Outrageous. More missing posters. God damn. They live. Brains. Don't be a zombie. Social media has a time and a place. Don't let lie flash you by. Message from the Clear Head Foundation. I like that. It's even worse today, right? Will bang for Jesus? What? Okay, this is just mean and ha, stupid. Ha, ha. Let's draw something nice. Poor Kate. This is Kate's room, right? It's right. It's like mine should be over there. Max's room, yeah. This action will have consequences. Okay, good. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Don't let depression keep you down. Everybody gets sad and lonely. And if you need somebody to talk to, please call us anytime, day or night, and we will listen because we care. Okay. Statistics. Help wanted. Lost phone. Meat is still murder during the Blackwell Vegan Club. Veggie potluck at every meeting every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Students lounge. I'm vegan too. <laughs> Girls night out, Halloweeny. Scream along. S scream along? Is that a typo? Is that supposed to be like this? Scream along. Sick. I. I I don't know what stream along is supposed to be. Scream along? Nightmare before Christmas, October 16th. Oh man, I can't wait for for Oct for October and, and Halloween and all that stuff. Bi-monthly, bi-friendly. Okay. Is this Victoria's this room? It's open. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Be the change you wish to see. I mean, it is it is a good quote. She's just not living up to it. So she she so she, 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 she is just writing it down for I don't know clout whatever. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? This is your planet, and when it comes to protecting the environment, you are the boss. It's up to you to make a choice. So come raise your voice, save the Earth. But what's with the naked half naked lady on the picture? Pie, pie. <laughs> Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Hmm. The forks. I love that orange or tomato. Is it supposed to be a tomato or an orange? I don't know. Anyways, Max's room. Slate. It's pretty empty. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Then let's draw something. Something silly? Max. Aw, <laughs> well. Teddy bear. Teddy bear! A guitar. Is that my room? Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Oh, oh. Hey, that's the picture. That's the, that's the, the wall with a, yeah. <gasps> yeah, it is a photo. Look at it first. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. <laughs> oh, comes with the age, sadly. 
Let's take the photo. Flip, flip, flip. Shake, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate, congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth review of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren G. <laughs> Such a good ball indeed. Teddy Bear. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Cliffhanger. Did she ever get the eye out of her belly or not? <laughs> Lie down, cushion. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Oh, that's sweet. And it says Max. That's cute. Okay, should I lie down already? Drawer. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Mm-hmm. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? Maybe. I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Cartier-Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. Greatest. The greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That's a cool shot. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Ten things I hate about you has that thing as well, right? Mm. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Let's read it. Maybe we need a photo inspiration right now. Corsha, my man. My man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Couldn't Talk see it. about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, let's look. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Okay. Well then. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. Can we read it? Quick sketch of my new muse. Ah. I am so addicted to this site. Camera porn. Look at these vintage beauties. Okay. Camera porn. Welcome to camera porn. You are one step web resource for almost every camera ever produced, domestic or international. Click on any of the camera pics below for exact model specs. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Nice. Warren Graham! Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult classic and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now we can quickly explain to me how a camera works. Be seeing you, Warren G. Hmm. A sticky note. Why, why don't they watch the videos, like the, the movies together? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, aboard your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. It's OXO D. Right. Dana. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Curse you, Dana. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. One day. The winger and the cow. Plan. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. Let's water you. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. <laughs> Drink up. Drink up, buttercup. This action will have consequences. Oh gosh, did I overwater the plant? If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Always looking. Um, look. Instant <laughs> film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. 
I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. <gasps> can she play? Oh, she it's can play. such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. Well, well, let's go. We have a job to do, right? <laughs> this game is so cozy. She's pretty good. Such a nice and cozy game, honestly. It's, it's relatively slow paced, right? So you can just like sit down and just enjoy and explore and... Hmm. Yeah, I like this. I miss this. Perfect. Okay, let's... Sorry, Max, just stop it. <laughs> Poor Warren is waiting and I need to get his flash drive from Dana now. Clothes. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. That's all that matters. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. <laughs> and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Dang, that's a lot of monies and a lot of chocolates. What's in there? Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's nice when you have parents that support your passions. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you, but we are so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you. Your mother and father. Kisses. Aw, that's so sweet. She's really lucky to have such supportive parents. Wait a minute. Uh, keep calm and carry on. Hell yeah. I think I've done everything now. Is that the note from... Warren even left me a oh, little message no. with his flash drive. Turn on. He's such a goofball. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to take a photo of that because... There is... Oh, wait. I can see the next ones. Episode 2 and stuff. Ooh. Five episodes. Okay. So there's this photo wall there. I don't know if this is the one that I am supposed to take. This one is not really like looking exactly like it. Also, we haven't lied down yet. Sorry, we have to do that. Teddy bear, make space. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Dreamception? All right, getting back up. We have a flash drive to get. Let's go. Is that my schedule? Doesn't look too full. Okay, Dana! <laughs> you can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten man. Oh, Lord. Teenage drama, let's go. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet it's looks like she's ready to throw down. Speak. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked here. Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? She's your friend. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Watson? I think I read all the names. I think it's Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. Yeah, I'm introverted. So, how did you find out about them? <laughs> According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Victoria. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. 
and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. All right. And her room is open, right? It was right here. So let's burst in there. Victoria, you biatch. What have you been up to? Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Mrs. Chase, thank you for your submission in the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. Oof. We appreciate your effort and wish you success and future endeavors. Best, Amanda Croft, owner, Croft Gallery, Eugene, Oregon. Da 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 da. Oh. Speaking of selfies, I can mess them up. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. <laughs> Let's take a photo of that. Nice. <laughs> Maybe I should rewind that. Well, it didn't say it had consequences, did it? Hmm. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Am I supposed to know that? Camera. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Mm, I hate you. <laughs> no, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> $3,600 though. Oh my god. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kinda like Victoria. Hmm. I feel bad for snooping in her room though. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. No. Jewelry. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Oh, I'm hardly a, not the, like I'm I'm not really a big jewelry person either. Just on rare occasions, I do like it. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much. Who cares? How bitch? insecure. And like nasty. Like this is this is nasty. Like this girl could anything could have happened to her. She's just like who cares, bitch. Seriously. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Recollection images by Mark Jefferson. I mean, this this is like just shows her character so much, right? Uh, international photo photographer Mark Jefferson, local exhibition, Bean Hip Cafe. Bring this ad for one dollar off. Oh, I could read her stuff on the laptop. Ah, it's way too private. We totally gotta do it, though. <laughs> I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. The Vortex Club, a cult by Juliet Watson. One of Blackwell's Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club started in the neon 1980s as a new way of rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Regan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for explosion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now even football player has... Now every sorry, not now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic then that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is this just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop this story from publication. Continued on the next page. Hmm. Maybe that is her motive? That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I heard that quite often, and I have yet to watch it. Those boots are made for walking runways. Mm -hmm. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Dang. 
I like that there's actually like mirror reflections in this game. I remember when games started to have mirror reflections and then they got removed again because it was too like heavy on the on the rigs and stuff. And I like I like to see like a re actual reflection or just some blurred mirror for whatever reason to like I don't know save memory or whatever. Did I read this? I bet Victoria put yeah. Juliet on her Sorry. shit list after this article. Uh, missing person, leave that. Okay, laptop, laptop. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Victoria Meredith, Meredith, Meredith Chase. Friends, 857. Subscribers, 1,126. Cool. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Taylor. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumb ass believed me and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet des deserves this for slotting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn, VC. How do I print this, though? Print email? Boop. Uh, where is the... Am I stupid? Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. I could have sworn the angle was different, but okay. <laughs> Take it. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I hope I'm not gonna be, like, busted. Like, walking out of here, somebody notices. Okay, seems like I'm fine. Here. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. All right. We fixed the problems. Almost done. Blackwell Ninja. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Cheerleader outfit. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. And active. Lots of moving. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. She does. That's a cool shot there. There's that damn flash drive. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. A million? So fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. 1,083. Yes, Max, so terribly wrong. And 2,554 subscribers. 95. Um, hey girl, thanks for the party favors. What up, Dana? Justin, couch locked with Super Mario. If you want to come over, we can play some play or go for a walk. Let me know, I'll be there. Still here? Hello? <laughs> that was wrong. Is she gonna notice? She doesn't give a damn. Okay, give me that flash drive. Must protect oh, my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay. <laughs> my precious. <laughs> this is both sad and pathetic. So, this handwriting is too hard to read. Dana, I suck at writing, but y you do, you really do. <laughs> But I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I passed out. If you need any money, let me know. XO Logan. Why would he give her money? It would be a cool sticker without the words. Mmm, Vortex Club, okay. Cheerleader. Can talk to her. Anything else? Wait a minute, what? That looks like a home pregnancy test. That might be, oh, that might explain the money thing. 
Maybe talk to her first before she's angry at me Dana or something? Dana really does look stressed about all this. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Mm-hmm. Victoria is not nice. Juliet gets her rage, rage on. Victoria is to blame here, really. Victoria is not nice. Although, she could have acted better, it. right? She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. Yeah. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. <laughs> He's a good guy. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. What was in there? Okay, now I'm gonna snoop around just a teeny bitty, tiny bit. I can rewind, right? So let's... Is it positive? Is it positive? Well, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna rewind. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Hey, Dana. I heard a rumor about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? What? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. She just knew? I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? You're pregnant. <laughs> of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? That beat Dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Not my business. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. <laughs> I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Hmm. <laughs> you are right. Wait, chick, something, something, what? I assume Dana kept the appointment. Center for Women's Health, Fertility, Pregnancy, and Childbirth, Miss Dana Ward, doctor appointment, 2.30 p.m. October 2nd. That was on the second school day when when she started. See you shortly, I hope so. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take on my way by. <laughs> I got a new one from mom. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said that this was a serious false charge and that he is worried about your telling stories. Call me a sap so we can talk about this mom. Crap. Dang it. <laughs> That is the consequence from, I don't know, telling on Nathan, I guess. So, pictures. We need football with stuff, the, the car thing, the bird, and the sunset or sunrise or whatever. So, four more photos for the first episode. Can we do this? Fuck this shit. Ow! Damn, I better rewind. Okay, tell her. Warn. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. <gasps> now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Was that the photo? Is that the photo? Where's the... Do I, do I take a picture of the fo Yeah. Let's go. Now that's what I call instant karma. Hell yeah. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I was close. No problem. <laughs> no problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're mm. better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Stupid book? You don't enjoy reading it? Oh, it must be for school then. 
Are you okay? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Oh my god, you're not that cool, you know? Jesus. Horrible. Who's living here? Go to parking lot? Oh. Oh, oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo or intervene. Oh man, shit. So I could stand up for her or I could take proof. I think I'm gonna intervene, right? That's better. I don't want anything to happen to her. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Screw you, security guy. Oh, oh Kate Max, is okay. that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. You're welcome. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I wonder why he would do I that. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. <laughs> well, Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No. Always help a friend. And she looked way, un like, way too uncomfortable in that situation. He was, like, way too close and, like, literally in her face, and that was not cool. Am I going to the parking lot now? Mm. Oh, there we go. Wow, she's so slow. <laughs> Poor Warren. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. There's no way I can walk to the town from here. Besides, I need to see Warren. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Oh man. Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Poor girl. Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry about Zachary. I won't bother you. I'm sorry about Zack. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Mm. Better sooner than later. True. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He <laughs> usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Yeah, I will. Oh man. Graffiti. Tarred something. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Tarred. I can't read it. What does it say? Tarred. Gibberish. Eat shit and s shake hippies? Show hippies? I don't know what shoke means. The proportions in that one. Gee. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. I better go there soon oh, sorry, to see sorry, if Joyce sorry. is still there. Cars and are deaf. get a burger. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. I don't have a car either. I have that in common. Who toilet papers a bike? <laughs> is that pink toilet paper too? <laughs> All right. Another missing post, missing person poster. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. It's a lot of them. Pile of MPP. Oh, Damn, missing person somebody poster. Somebody seriously devoted to putting up these posters. And this person surely can park a car. This truck is all over the place. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. But shouldn't these parking slots be the closest to like entries and stuff like how would a person that is handicapped get away from here anyways oh 
there's a doggo. Hello, doggo. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. <laughs> I like Cujo. That's a good movie. Creepy, though. I remember watching that as a kid. Look. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. <laughs> okay, let's do it. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I am so dirty. <laughs> nice. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay lots. This will have consequences, really? No, I'm curious. I want to see what happens if I do this. Um... The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Yeah, true. That is a nice red truck. What about the other cars? I'm just running around and Warren is like, oh, girl. But if he's still, like, after her, like, interested in her after she's, like, running around like crazy, co totally ignoring Max. it. Get your ass over here. That's the most patient guy ever to exist. Oh, look at this teeny tiny car. I want to look it up. Check it out. Look at Warren in his way back machine. <laughs> He's a brave man. Yo, Max, check it out. Thanks, Flex. Thanks, something, something. Carnival. Do these? Do these say something? These car signs? Is this Twin Peaks? <laughs> anyway, Warren, I'm so sorry. You're so patient. Max, get your ass over. Bless ya. Hang on a second. <laughs> Two more pictures. <laughs> okay, okay. Here I am. Flash drive. There. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Oh, Thanks. no problem. Oh, no. Check out my new wheels. Max. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're just in the 60 miles. Time, Warren. Yeah. But then so am I. <laughs> you okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Mm-hmm. I How bet. Strange. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. Mm -hmm. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Dang it. Really? I don't want to talk. Really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. <laughs> Had I known Dang that. It. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Could you now? You can draw? You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. Smooth. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. <laughs> that does sound better than thief. Yeah, ha, it does. Ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it? No fucking way. Seen it. Seen it? I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. <laughs> Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> faster pussycat kill kill. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk, don't want to speak about it. I mean, I kind of like him, and I think they have great chemistry together, so maybe we should invest in our friendship, and I should talk to him. Yes. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. <laughs> I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. Everything. 
For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. I told him the truth. What are Answer you talking me, about? Answer me, bitch. Oh my god. I, I told him the truth. What are you talking about? I told him the truth. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. Oh god, he's so you psycho. You talk to somebody, Nathan. Yeah. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back. I could call the police. Take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away yeah. from her, dude. <laughs> Bruh, what? Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Oh, bro, I got this. Get in, Max. Oh, no, go Warren. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. That's me. Nobody. Oh, God, the poor Warren, though. Man, got quite Nathan the Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Hi, Chloe. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Yeah, thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. <laughs> Reunited at last. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. <laughs> so what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. I have no idea. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Yeah, he Warren? did. Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess, no. No, it didn't suck, but it was just like no like art school around, I guess. Oh, that's weird. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah. Must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. <laughs> Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. Only for Mark Jefferson. Only for Mark Jefferson. <laughs> He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Dang. Give me a break. I wanted to. I'm sorry. I mean, being... Apparently they have been best friends, right? For years. And then she just moves away and she doesn't give a damn to ever write or text or call or whatever. I wanted to. Give me a break. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. She looks different than on the photo, though. Oh, the lighting is cool. Broken? Oh, man, are you cereal? Wow, cereal. haven't heard that one in a while. <laughs> it's cute. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools. 
Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. <laughs> my stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Okay. Ooh. My stepdad actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> I like that line. Is that the same house they've been in when they were kids and were hanging out together? Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> I think it's called home sweet home, darling. Hi, bird. I see a lot of Lightly clothed ladies. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Indeed. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put All on some right. music while I medicate. Medicate. <laughs> Not meditate, but medicate. Mm. Oregon Coast. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Miss you. Wish you were here, Rach. Chloe Price. All right. Uh, box. Old cardboard boxes. Search. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass. Nope. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks. How can I fix this, though? Maybe, like, a chair to step on or so? Um... Maybe I need to break it and look through there, and then, like, when I have what I need, I'm... <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. Report car price, Chloe. 80 plus abs, really? Chloe, this is unacceptable. Okay, let's rewind. Bag? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. This looks like a laundry bag. It does, and in fact it is. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. <laughs> What's that? Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Estimate auto repair 3006 and 20 cents. Interesting, that's a very odd number. Pictures! I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. I love going through pictures. Let's go. If I if I can, if I may. Aww. Look at that. Me and Daddy. Chloe and her dad were so close. Was oh, that a kitty? Damn, she really changed, right? Look at the look at the hair. Quite the difference. Poster. Look. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. So what now? Think like a man. One day, your life will flash before your eyes. Everybody lies, no excuses. And then the grumpy Chloe over there, TV. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. I had a TV like this without the antenna on the top, and that's how I started playing video games on my PlayStation X that I got from my... There's the power strip. Uh, that I got from my older cousin when she got herself a PlayStation 2. Oh! Oh no, 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 we have, no, we have power. That's, that's actually helpful with music, isn't it? Wait, my objective is to put on music, so I'm gonna do everything else first. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Mm-hmm. What's inside? Ooh. That's the photo. That she... Oh. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. I'm sorry. That's Rachel Amber. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved... 
I felt abandoned. Oh, man. Rachel saved my life. Oh, I feel bad now. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So Rachel took my place. I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. Kick ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. <laughs> I see why. So what happened? What about your mom? So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know? What about her parents? How do you know? How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Ouch. Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Sorry, yes. I'm sorry, man. This must be rough, like losing your, f your father and then your best friend. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Mm, cigarettes and beer, this looks like. Chloe's dad built this dresser. I have a dresser that my dad built as well. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. <laughs> Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. No, it's cute. Fuck all shit, life, suck it. Oh my god. She's very negative, dang. She must be quite depressed. Chloe's trash overfloweth. Does it? It's not even in the trash can, it's all over the place. <laughs> Really? Am I gonna spoo- Ooh. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Oregon State Police written ra warning, a cardio bait traffic ticket, parking infraction, parking warning ticket. Yikes. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Hmm, she had the original picture too. Is this a desk or a storage space? Yes, both. We used to dare each other to climb down. But never did. <laughs> laptop. Too bad I can't stream any music from Chloe's laptop. Oh, but I, I love can't. how funky and outdated it is. She even covered it in punk stickers because Chloe doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I like that. It's, a, it's not a too bad attitude. It can, it, and too much, it's like not good, but a little bit of no fucks given she is good. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. Aww. She looks super stoned. <laughs> yes, she does. Um. Oh, yeah. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. By the way, can I leave this room? No. Okay, I just figured I'd, ch I'd try. Aww, she looks super sad again now. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. All right, I understand. Okay, let's snoop through the house, because that's what we do, right? Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. Magic! This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. No, she wouldn't? Good girl. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. 
Yellow blue suits her. Hair dye. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. Fluoxine tablets. I hope she's okay. Please dispense with medication guide. I love the music in this game. It's so cool and chill. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, we can't go this way. Picture. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. Can I just go in every door? Oh boy. Hello? Oh, this must be Chloe's parents' room. Oh no. Man, I am nosy today. The, the, the bird hurt itself. Can I open the window? Oh man, I'm so happy that the bird survived. Oh, little one, are you okay? <laughs> You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. Oh man, I just saw that in the corner of my eye. I'm happy that I caught it. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. <laughs> I remember oh. my mom. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. San, San Francisco holidays with William and Chloe, Chloe in the belly. My mom used to order stuff from catalogs as well. Like every now and again, like a thick catalog would arrive and she would just like browse through it for hours in the evenings. Act, react or die, a 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Apocalypse self-help. Mm, can't hurt to be prepared, I guess. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. That is the security guy from school, right? Baptist. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Was that pasta, like those, those farfalle ones? <laughs> Closet, oh man, like as nice. Joyce still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Well, we already know the name, David Madsen. Papers. Uh oh, the prices are late on their bills. Past you, uh oh, a photo. Joyce looks happy. There he is. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Well, it's David Madsen, the security guy, so I'm... Uh, he was kind of nasty towards us and quite aggressive, wasn't he? Nothing's changed. Except for me and Chloe. I, I always like this um, simplistic art style. I don't know how to say it. Like it's, it doesn't look realistic, right? But it has its own kind of style. Like the graphics of this game, I really like it. And I like that with this artist artist theme, like photography and art and everything. I like these um, that when you look at things, you get this scribbled stuff. It's quite a nice detail, I think. Have I looked at the books? These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. <laughs> All right. Let's go downstairs. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Your statement is enclosed, David and Joyce Matson. Joyce Matson. Oh. Your electricity bill is inside past you. Uh oh. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Every door in every game that I play, the the doors are always locked from the other side. Always. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Hell. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. She was a gar skater girl. <laughs> oh, that's a cool shot. That is a really cool shot. Like That's way better and way more interesting than the school class picture that Jefferson took and she was so impressed by. 
Like, whoever took these pictures has a great eye. Maybe we should, like, Max took that picture even? Or these pictures? They're so cool. Like, these are really cool pictures. Kate. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy is an asshole. <laughs> and Victoria. By the way, thanks, but we are not friends. Nobody said we were. Oh, God, pathetic. Okay, girl. <laughs> I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Okay, that's horrible. Like, that sound is... Ugh, my ears. Cornflakes, photos. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. <gasps> I better get one soon. Yeah. Oh, I want a burger now. Cereals, milk, peanut butter, chocolate cake, oil, bananas, toilet paper. Toilet paper, probably because Chloe was the one wrapping a bike <laughs> with the toilet paper. Travel <sighs> money. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. No oh, donuts. Are we gonna get the birdie back out? Or... Sliding door. Oh, we're in the garden. Nice. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. <laughs> I love that. Actually, I'm so happy that I can wear my hoodie today without melting. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. <laughs> I wonder if he was the last one to use this. I love that I get so much Borgia talk today. We have the habit, I don't know if you're new here on this channel, but um, every Friday I have burgers. Every Friday for... I don't want to lie, like maybe one and a half years already, maybe two years. I just love burgers. We make them ourselves, not like from scratch, like for everything, even making the, the buns and stuff, but very good. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Bongo? Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Oh no. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. That's a cool picture. And I like that it's a team effort. <gasps> Can I sit on the swing? Oh yeah. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. I love swings. That's the best part on any playground. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What <laughs> about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world. Go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. <laughs> yeah. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. Of course. And no adults could tell us what to do. Mm hmm Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Aww. Yes, sir. That's so sweet. Alright. We have to find tiny tools. Okay, we can't go this way. Then let's go back inside and see if we can find access to the garage so we can use the tiny tools. Magazines. Yum, that looks tasty. Food cart, pizza. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Wood oven pizza carts. Oh, I think this is maybe a good way. But first, oh, that's a big, nice TV. Oh, no. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. <laughs> Go, Max. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Oh. Looks like a ship wreck now. <laughs> yeah, it does. Kind of looks comfy, though. Don't like the pattern, but well. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. 
Yeah, red wine doesn't go out easy. <laughs> Shit. I guess they're aging these books. Nobody's reading them? No. Need new flowers, Joyce. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. You're he so, wants to so put mixed. surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? I mean, his stepdaughter is putting missing persons posters everywhere. Maybe he does have good intentions. I don't know. Hmm. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? No. You've got to be shitting me. No, he's definitely not it. Oh, he used to be... Oh, yeah, the dog tags, right? So he's... Sorry, I thought I have to sneeze. <laughs> so he used to, he used to be in the military. Oh boy, gun rack. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes, score. Yeah, good aiming. <gasps> Tilts. Boom! Precision screwdrivers. Except, I can't reach them. Look... That does not look stable. Uh-huh, I see, so I can like, wriggle them down. This actually will have consequences, look. Should I switch the song? Just... Yeah! What the...? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. In the bedroom. Do Chloe uh, and Joyce even know about this? Okay, this is creepy. In the bedroom, and uh, I mean, it's even their own bedroom, right? That's creepy. In the garage. In the living room. Please not in Chloe's room. That's that's disgusting. Please not in Chloe's room. 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 Not in Chloe's room. Doesn't look like it. But in his own bedroom is a- or like, I mean it's Joyce's and his, right? So that's a bit creepy. Can I take out the- uh. Wowzer, Does he I'm record it? Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of cameras, that's why. Oof, close. Um, look. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. Use it. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Well, I do be nosy Max, so I want to know everything. <laughs> find everything. Corned beef. Crackers. Files. I wonder what's in those files up there. Let's search. Shit! Oil stains. Fire fingers. Oh crap. All right, so how can I get those files? Or do I have to look at them before? Maybe I have to look at them before and then rewind? I don't know, search. Oh man, I'll always make them fall. Kate Marsh? She Why knows something. Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Kate Marsh. Okay, oh. this is getting totally weird. <laughs> Kate Marsh, she knows something. Kate Marsh. Kate Marsh. <gasps> Blackwell Academy, 3.17 p.m. Okay, that's it, then I'm gonna rewind. I wonder what happens if you just, like, leave it there, just like mess everything up and then just leave. <laughs> Trophy, Oh, it's a poor deer. Poor little deer. Yeah. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Uh, not a fan. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. I don't know how little she eats, but this is not gonna last me long. Well, I don't know how you eat, guys, but I, that, that's that's not much. Like, let's say if you would eat, like, let's say two meals a day. And then let's pretend one of those cans is one meal. So that's two dan cans a day. Never. 
But maybe I just eat way too much. That's possible. <laughs> oh, Check no, no, out no, the no. muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Mm -hmm. I mean, he does have tiny tools, so who knows? So how do I actually get those tools? Mm, washing machine? Maybe turn it on and it wiggles it down? It's not stable, at least. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh great. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Cardboard. Oh yeah, I can put, yeah, good idea. And now turn it on and then it falls on the cardboard and then we can pull it out, right? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> turn that off. And then pull. Booyah! Yes, you have <laughs> mad skills, Max. Yeah, rewind skills. I wish I had rewind skills. <laughs> Although I've got the I... tools. I should go back upstairs. But oh, sorry. Chloe's stepfather oh, yeah. is this asshole from Blackwell. Sorry. <sighs> You've got to be shitting me. We already had that. Can I go back this way? That's shorter, right? Open. Nice. Cool. Now it's open. <laughs> Locked from the other side. No more. Go upstairs. I hope I didn't miss any of the pictures that we could take in this chapter. A bird. I couldn't take a picture of the bird, could I? I mean, I tried, but it doesn't look like it's... And the picture doesn't, like, on here. It doesn't look... You can't see it here, but it, does, it doesn't really look like... It's gonna be inside, right? It looks like there's some pine trees and something in the background. Hmm. All right. Hi, birdie. No, I don't think I can take a photo from you. Maybe from a different angle? No. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's go back to Chloe then with my teeny tiny tools. <laughs> Was it here? Yeah. Wrong way. <laughs> Oh my god, tools. There. I think that's not how it works, love. <laughs> so? I can't fix this thing. Oof. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. Dang. You hella saved my life. I hella did. Now tell did. me the truth, Max. I was there. I wasn't there. I was there. Let's be let's be real, okay? We we're, we were besties once. So let's 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 tell the truth. I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. <laughs> a ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? Yes. That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Oof. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Or the Thank money God. or the drugs. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. <laughs> Are these bullet cases around your neck on the necklace? I love the music. I'm sorry. I uh, know it was your birthday last month.
This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. <laughs> Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or <laughs> take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Wanna take a picture now? Sunshine. Photo! But that's not one of the collections one, right? Oh yeah. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes! Break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off! Turn it off! Oh shit, 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 shit. Come Dude, on. the music's not even on! <laughs> Asshole. And it never was. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't oh, crap. Stuck. Okay, wait, let me rewind this. Chloe. I'm coming. Move the lamp. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. One I'm hidden. I'm My hidden. My bra is stuck. <laughs> My Shit. bra is stuck. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not the military, Who's dude. Stay hidden, step in. Oh shit. I mean, she, she hid me now, so maybe she doesn't want him to know that I'm here? She told me to hide. Is she not allowed to have friends over? I mean, what the heck? She's 18, right? I don't know what she would prefer. But I don't know if I want to get in trouble for her smoking weed. So maybe I stay hidden? Oh, man. This is tough. Gonna step in. I'm sorry. That was my joint. Well, well. I don't like strangers in my home. Especially dopers. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do Get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like hey. you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, was. if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Damn. Because you're such a badass, Max, let me show you my new toy. I'm Price. Chloe Price. Bang! Jesus, put that thing down. Chillax, sister. It's not even loaded. Yet. What? I thought you believed in gun control. Yes, I believe I should control the gun. It's the men who need to be checked. Mm. You trust Nathan or David? Thanks for well. taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. <laughs> He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Oh, man. I don't, anyway, I don't know how to let's feel about the, the gun. Window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Alrighty then. Man, this that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. 
Okay, we're gonna do... We're gonna rewind and see what happens. And skip the dialogue. Oh, come on, can I rewind a bit fast? No, no, no. How can you rewind super fast? I want to see the alternative option. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. Mm, that. I'm changing. Give me a minute. And Don't then get smart. that. Just let me in now. What would happen? Please. One second. Mm. My. Shit. Skip that. Skip that. Skip that. Whose is it? And then stay hidden. Let's see what happens then. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. <gasps> Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe. Someday you'll grow up. Mm, I don't like that option either. Both suck. Let's see what Max has to say after, hey, after that. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. Mm. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Yeah, that was pretty much prime dickery there. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I don't like in neither of these options, honestly. But I think I'm gonna keep this, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it can... I don't know. Oh, this feels tough. That's the the beauty and the curse of these choice-based games, right? If I use right? my power, it might help. What? It might help? Yeah, let's let's let, let's keep it that way. It shows. It just shows more of David Matson's true character, right? So where are we going? Now we actually do sneak out of the window, right? That we always talked about as kids, but never did. <laughs> Ooh, lighthouse. Here we are again, huh? Such such simple graphics, but still yet so beautiful, right? Oh, look at the colors. Mm, nice. Oh, hello, dear. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Because of my dream we were, right? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Daymare. <laughs> it is. Can I look around this time? Hello, cute little squirrel. You Hello. and me. Stare contest. Oh. I failed that bit. Okay, so we have we have two more pictures, a bird and lots of pine trees around, so maybe this is the location, and the sunset still, so maybe we'll be able to find those. Oh, bird. Oh, oh, there was, there was. Perfect. And it's sitting on a stone, now I get I it. I got you. Hey, that's exactly the same type of bird that we had before, right? Nice. That was a nice shot, too. Alrighty, um... Could I go even further back? A bottle. A People bottle. can be such pigs. I mean, the, the bin is right next to it, right? Why not throw it in there? They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Don't feed the Sasquatch. They shit. Stay away, white men. <laughs> Hello, organ nature lovers. Arcadia Bay Wildlife. And you. Do not... Feed any animals in the forest. 
I mean, it's probably better, right? Usually humans just feed them some stuff that is not good for the animals anyways. That old fence is part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads to the parking lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go up to the lighthouse. I guess Chloe's already up there. <laughs> so now we're back here where it all started today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Oh, journal Warren. Oh god, he's a black guy. The poor guy. F to Max, your white knight Warren here. You know you were worried. I know you were worried about me. Oh, I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later, okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have to tell me your big secret. Kick. <laughs> um, do we have a journal entry somewhere? Um, I haven't figured out how- Ah, here, prologue. Monday. <sighs> Where do we leave off? Jo Gosh, so much text happened in the meantime. Uh-huh, okay. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to anybody about this. Well, the only person I could I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and knows science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation. Though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on the down low for this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had a chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white badassery. Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim, I love that movie! <laughs> For about a millionth time, I love that one so much too. Uh, on a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive and yes, Victoria and her Vortex vixens blocked me from getting in and even took my picture. It was so high school movie, I can't believe she did it. Can't believe you've done this. She actually told me to go fuck your selfie, though it was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, especially if I have been given an actual gift from the universe, but it, gi it did give me a chance to test it out. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps, covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Biatch of Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. More high school drama. Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid I was so tired from everything and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive I had to intervene. Julia told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zack and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. Once I gave Julia the proof that Victoria was behind this, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, so I had to look around to see if I could find out why. I found a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and a doctor's appointment. Dana admitted she was pregnant and realized that all of my friends have childbirths that are just as significant as mine. Sigh. I'm starting to get the hang of this whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me, so I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football-fueled headshot. I admit it felt amazing just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen harassing Kate Marsh. I could hear everything, but he was... He, I couldn't hear everything, sorry. But he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed I went over to stop him from being such a bully. He's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. He was an asshole, as usual, but I felt good about what I did, and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her, and I did that without using my rewind power. This day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing, and I can't even do a simple task like giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case, though, it turned out half bad and half good, which I guess is the yin-yang of life. When I met 
with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Even though I was scared because I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in the truck, my former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? Next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock, I was almost paralyzed. Especially after realizing that Nathan had almost killed her right in front of me. Now Chloe shows up out of the blue to save me. Of all the bizarre and unexpectable shit happening today, sitting in Chloe's battered truck listening to music and staring at her dashboard bobblehead might be at the top. So I tried to process the fact that Chloe and I were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore. She had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I... I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start, and she wasn't exactly extend extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot melee with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else got it on, but I sucked on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in five years was like the ultimate we rind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self, cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and she also explored her room to play catch up on what she was onto these days. I'm another one. <laughs> what? Fuck off. That's utterly outrageous. That's These stickers are so cute, man. And I love these painting, like the blotches of paint as well. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked out and laid it on, laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel and they were going to bail on Acadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even shittier about leaving Chloe alone all those years when she most needed me. You suck, Max. Both Chloe... But Chloe is obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to find tools to fix my camera. Hello. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot and found a whole mini surveillance setup for, of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid pots camera throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see where she so got serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't, fix I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that I had saved her life. Even though I could have gone the other way, she was so happy like when we were kids and I was it was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty. Just a bit. <laughs> That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up and it was David Madsen. I had to hide in the closet and then David came in angry about the music. He was even scary off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David found Chloe's joint and flipped out on her. She didn't back down and he actually slapped her. Bastard. I thought Chloe would be pissed. I didn't step in to help, but she didn't think it would matter. We decided to get out of here and catch up on our exploring like best friends. I hope you- I, do you guys mind if I read those? Do you prefer Earth if I read so those? Lucky, they can always escape. Or would you rather have me, like, not read them? And basically, they just explain what happened in the first place, right? So, it's just the most recent thing that happened. Just let me know in the comments if you want me to read all of those or not. And then I'll see you for the next episodes. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. BFF Pirates. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. 2008, aww. Karen. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. That's the sunset and the birds. Maybe it was like this? Hmm, no. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. 
Aww. Nostalgia. Haiku. A tree haiku? How pretty. Turn this way now a tree or haiku? face the lonely autumn tree and never How look pretty. back. Sorry, I, I wanted to read it fully. Campfire. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Trust no one. That looks like Chloe's handwriting, all right. How long has that been here? <gasps> it's a Sasquatch. Clear. Found him. The Bigfoots are everywhere. <laughs> yes, they are. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Okay, that's odd. I don't know what she meant meant with that, but well, what's this? Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? With the toe beans and stuff, I would say something like a dog or a wolf, maybe. Lighthouse. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Man, the view up there must be great. Imagine. All right. Oh, maybe. Here, maybe. Th oh, I mean, Chloe's not on there, but. Haha. <laughs> this would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. Heck yeah. I like that too. Can I see it? Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Pretty. <laughs> Good job, Max. Is that the bow that was flying into the lighthouse earlier? I guess up there is Arcadia Bay, uh, the Blackwell Academy. There's the beach. That's a very nice place, actually. Are you okay? You sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. I'm sorry. Are you pissed at me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wussed out. No worries. I know my step dork can be scary. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. He is. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. <laughs> you have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He should have taken his photo. He freaked out on Kate. Yeah. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. <laughs> Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. The files? Uh, files? I know that look. You peeked. <laughs> so, dish the dirt. Snuff videos? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. Yes. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Hmm. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Even yours? What's Nathan's secret? Fuck Nathan now. What's even yours? Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? He what? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. Yeah. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. Oh, dear. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. Oof. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan... He dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. 
I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. You were... Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Creepy as hell. I'm furious. That is fucked up. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. So that happened recently, okay. He's still dangerous. Let's call the police. Yeah, Chloe calling the police. I don't see that happening, so yeah, he's still f dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. <laughs> hey. I will always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. You okay? Chloe? If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Can try. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh no! Not again! Not again, yeah. Why is this happening to me? It's a transparent dough. Okay. I'm coming, dough. I'm coming. I guess I just I'm just oh, supposed. Still up there? I have to find out. Okay, I'm going this way then. I'm following you, dough. Oh shit. Rewind time. Run, 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 run. Move it, move it, move it. Okay, Doe, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's a guide, guide, go. Guide, guidance, Doe. Oh my, why are you tripping stuff? Don't do that. Ah, nice. <laughs> I think I could have done that on first try already without rewinding. What's with a bloody tornado? Oh though? my lord! The tornado is back! Nope. How do I. Run, 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 run. No, I can do it. This is fine. <laughs> Living on the edge. Paper. That was clutch, but we did it. October 11? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Oh, she. Oh, no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... Hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? <gasps> Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. 
Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Ash? What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. That's the dog and the and the thingy, the car thing. Principal Wells. Jefferson is still in his classroom. Is that Nathan? I think it is. Is that folders? Rachel. Oh dear. Episode 1, Chrysalis. Life is strange, team. Nice. That was great. I'm having so much fun visiting this game again. It's been... Like I said, it's been over five years that I last played this and it's so nice to revisit it again. I hope you guys have fun watching this. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to actually read all the journal entries because it takes a lot of time and I sometimes like misread stuff and like blah blah blah. <laughs> so if you don't mind, because it's literally just telling again what happened. I know it's from Max's perspective. I wouldn't mind if you guys want me to, but we can also skip it if you think it's unnecessary. So just let me know in the comments. I would uh, really appreciate some feedback. Yeah, I will try to record the next episode as soon as possible. Let's get a little recap of what we did. Chrysalis, you reported Nathan. Uh, you comforted Victoria. You intervened to help Kate and you stayed hidden. You blame Chloe. Oh, so I could have just say this is Chloe's. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Ooh. That's a little teaser for episode two, Out of Time, which we're gonna play soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. This channel is mostly a VOD channel, which means um, that's videos from Twitch streams that I post up here, just slightly edited. But I will every now and again record videos just exclusively for YouTube like this. If you want to know which other games are on my to playlist for the YouTube exclusives, I put the link of my to playlist down below in the description so you can check that out. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye.